sorry about my voice. I'm not sick, I swear to God. I just, it's seasonal, and so I sound like a really old lady today, but, and I hope that you can understand what I'm saying. So I do apologize for that right off the bat. And here I am out near my garden. This is my happy place. And I hope that there's not too much background noise that you can't hear me. And I hope that I don't get eaten alive. Okay, so today I want to talk about how you can, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not smoking, I swear. I swear to God, hand to God. If you've been watching my lung cancer videos, I have not started smoking either. So I just have some frogs and some roughness, but I swear I'm not doing that, okay? So anyway, <clears throat> I'm gonna help you guys increase your sales. Um, and I'll give you some numbers at the end so I can show you how my sales have increased over the last three weeks at the time of this recording, okay? But. Let's get going so we, you can get out there and start making some sales. So the first thing you need to do is you need to set yourself some goals. So you make a decision. Now, I'll share mine so that will make it easier for you. I have a goal of listing 10 new items every day for at least five days out of seven, okay? So that's 50 new items, new, Okay, new to my store, not new purchase, brand new, but new to my store that are not now listed. Okay, so that is going to cut down my death pile, which is uh, becoming a death mountain. Okay, so we're going to get that death pile reduced and we're going to get things listed. And, and it doesn't matter which platform you're selling on, if it's eBay, if it's Macari, if it's Poshmark or any other one. They like to see new things coming in. So putting something on there that wasn't listed before makes that algorithm happy. Okay, so I set a goal, my goal is 50, that's 50 new listings per week. And then to go back daily, and I use, I use eBay as my meter, okay? And so the other thing that I do, and I do this every single morning, and sometimes I do it in the afternoon or evening, okay? Is I go into my current listings, and I sort oldest to newest. And my oldest listings that are getting ready to renew and relist automatically through their system, I take them out completely. Okay, I take them out, and I and I um, I use a cross lister, so I store them in that so that I can review them. And I'll go into that on another video on ways to increase your sales. But I go in and I review them or refresh them or do something to them to make the algorithm think that they're new again. Okay. So I take anything that's getting ready to expire within the next 24 hours and on the app, the time left on it will show red at the bottom so you can see what needs to come down. So I take them down and I, so now I have kind of a little stockpile through the week or through the day or whatever. I have all my new listings, which I'm gonna to get to in a second, my new listings plus the things that need to be relisted, sell similar, okay? So I got my goal. Then the next thing you do is you get everything that you need to do to get together um, to start your actual photographing process. Oh, I forgot something. I gotta get something. Sorry about that. In my oh, you can't really see Sarah. chair. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Okay, so you get everything together just like I did, right? Because I'm so prepared. Now, do as I say, not as I do, right? Now, at least I had this up here, okay? So I got my notes for this video, and I got this, which I'll explain to you in a second. Get your tools together, so that's whatever you're gonna use to take pictures, your measuring tape, your scale, you need your scale, and whatever you're using for a background. Plus, I pick out for the day. So if I'm gonna do 20 photographs in a day, I pick out 20 things. If I'm gonna do, you know, however many for the week, I, I pull out how many, whatever items I wanna take pictures of. And I make sure that um, they're clean and ready to go. Because sometimes, you know how it is, things sit, they get kind of dusty. Like yesterday, I had a pair of boots I'm going to take pictures of today. They need a little sprucing up, sprucing up. I checked like inside the handbags, you know, just stuff like that. Now, for me, for clothing, this is actually more of a sourcing tip. But by the time I'm ready to photograph, any clothing, so tops, pants, anything doesn't have to be dry cleaned. It's already washed because the minute I buy clothing or textiles, they don't even come into my house. I literally take them from the store 
to a laundromat and I wash them there. I take all the tags off and I wash everything before I even bring it in my house. And that's because I don't want to deal with bed bugs. And bed bugs is a problem here in Atlanta. So that's why I do that. And it may be different for you, but that's what I do. So get everything together that you need and get everything selected that you want to pick, that you want to photograph. Now, here's the trick. Here's the big trick. You do things in batches, so not just 20 things, but you do 20 of like items, so, or however many you have. So if you're going to do shirts or clothing, you do, you know, you put your tops together, you put your pants together, you put your dresses together, you put your handbags together, you put your shoes together. Everything goes together in like items, and that way, so for me, my little system is I have all my clothing on a, on a rack that I'm getting ready to photograph. That way... They're hanging there for a couple days. They have some time for the wrinkles to fall out. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Or not perfectly, but it's better than just pulling them out of the laundry basket and taking a picture of them, if you get my drift, okay? But then I sort them. So I got pants, dresses, tops, sweaters, whatever. Hanging in some kind of organized fashion on that rack. And I just pull one off after the other, okay? So I'm doing shirt after shirt after shirt after shirt. And develop some sort of a routine. So. In my case, <clears throat> most of the time, not always, but most of the time, I hang myself, my, my item, my clothing items on a hook so that they're in front of this wooden, it's actually a wooden wall. And I take a, a full picture, a picture of the collar, a picture of the tag that you can see from the collar. I flip it around, I take a picture of the back. I might take a, a close up of some kind of detail, whether it's a flaw or um, an embellishment of some sort, a pocket, a button, whatever. And then <clears throat> I take it down, I take it off the hanger. I go over to this little work table that I have and I take pictures of the tags inside or anything that I couldn't take well on the wall okay and then the next thing I do is I measure it so I do all the standard measurements pit to pit length inseam rise heel height you know whatever's relative to that particular item and as I go along that's where this notebook comes in and it's all chicken scratch so you don't really need to be able to read it but I'll, I'll read it to you so for instance um, I had this American Eagle size large yellow yellow and white stripe so it was a top okay and then i write down the measurements here so i got 18 pit to pit 23 length and i weigh it five ounces is what it weighed okay so i have this list here and i have all my pictures in my ipad and then the next thing that i do later on after i'm done doing my pictures and we've had dinner and blah 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 at night when i start listing my new stuff because that's when i do it I, st I go down my list and you can see even though you can't read my handwriting I check it off okay so everything's numbered all the way and I write it sometimes I, I put little abbreviations that only I would understand but I would understand it okay and it's got to be at least clear enough that I can reread it and sometimes um, I, I will put on here like um, something special about that item if it has a patch or you know special buttons or I write down keywords that I think of while I'm doing it. So it might be Boho, Prairie, Gypsy, Stevie Nicks, you know, came to mind with something that I had taken a picture of. Okay, and I'll write that down. And the reason why is I'm afraid by the time I go to list it, it's out of my head. So that's what I do. I write my list. And through the week, if I don't have time to take pictures, I've got something to work with. And so I've measured this over the last three weeks. Now, my numbers are not great. But I'm going to give you my numbers anyway, okay? And I will tell you why my numbers are not great. Again, the lung cancer thing. I hate to bring it up, but it is something that I'm dealing with. I don't have lung cancer. If you haven't heard this yet, I don't have lung cancer because I don't have a diagnosis. But I am dealing with the screening process. So in January, I had a CT scan. January and February, I had a CT scan. Something suspicious showed up. Just, just a recap, okay? If you're interested, I do have some videos on it. But anyway, I was an emotional wreck through... Mm, February March part of April okay and I'm dealing with that but I have decided to stop it and to live okay and so this is motivating me to help you as well so starting these are the numbers to give you a comparison of what I've done over three weeks and the progress that I made I have a goal right now because 
you know, this is not my main job. I clean houses, but this is something that eventually is going to supplement my retirement or my recovery time if I'm not able to work later on. Um, but anyway, so starting April 29th to May 5th, my total sales across all platforms, okay, was $162, so $162. Then from May 6th to May 12th, I did 191, so there was an increase there. And then this past week, as of the time of this recording, from May 13th to May 19th, I did 213. So my system is paying off, okay? It's paying off, and I'm doing it, I have routines, but I do it early in the morning and I do it late at night. And then when I take my pictures, I have certain days of the week that I say I'm gonna take this many pictures and I do it. Now, if you wanna take a look at my stores, okay, for some examples, an idea of things that you can do, maybe show you that it doesn't have to be perfect because my store is not perfect. I am not one of these professional people, but I can tell you my systems work. I do have some sort of a method and it's working for me, okay? And I'm sharing it with you. But the, the stores are all linked below, Macari, Macari, eBay, and Poshmark. So if you wanna take a look at those, they're down there, okay? If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Give me a like, cause it'll help. And don't forget to subscribe if you wanna um, learn more about reselling because I got more coming, okay? Bye.